Hello, welcome to Current News. I'm your host, Chris Davis. So, for our first story, we're going to talk about the New York Times. <clears throat> and specifically, um, during this past week, they released an opinion article. And the person who wrote the article is anonymous, but the New York Times published it. And it has been a huge controversy because um, it, the opinion article... Um, well, what it says is that <clears throat> the author, um, is a senior staff official in the Trump White House, but he's part of a small resistance. Um, he, that person's in there to sabotage or r restrain, um, some of President Trump's policies. <clears throat> the reason for it. Um, the person says that um, because President Trump is, has a bad temperament and he does things on a whim, <clears throat> they have to sabotage or even restrain um, some of his policies because some of his policies are detrimental um, to the country. <clears throat> um, this article, um, the way it's written, it, it's to provide um relief and hope that even though President Trump doesn't act presidential, there's still adults uh, in the White House and they are restraining um, President Trump to a certain extent. <clears throat> now, um, the biggest controversy um, with this article is who wrote it? Who wrote this article? Who is this anonymous um, senior staff official? who published this opinion article in the New York Times. Um, there is a person, people, there is a person um, that um, comes to mind. Um, people have suggested or even have said that Vice President Mike Pence wrote it. And I bet you, my audience, are asking, well, what makes them think Mike Pence wrote this article? Well, uh, they say because the use of one word, load star, load star. So I think what the word means means guiding. Um, but the use, but the the use of the word load star um, seems to make people believe that Vice President Mike Pence wrote it. But now, to be now to give the facts, um, Vice President um, Mike Pence has used this word before. During campaigns and before the campaign, he has used the word lodestar. But is the use of lodestar enough to prove that he's the one who wrote this anonymous article in the New York Times? Um, I want to give you my thoughts. I think that um, the use of lodestar isn't enough to say that Vice President Mike Pence wrote it. I don't think it's enough to go on. When I was reading this article... I was thinking that um, we could figure out um, who wrote this article, um, either by the use of words or a speech pattern or what words were used. Uh, we could figure out <clears throat> who wrote this article besides the use of one word. I don't think one word is enough to say it was Mike Pence. It could be anyone in Trump's cabinet or any one of his staff members who wrote this article. Now, I just want to give you guys my further thoughts on this um, <clears throat> whole controversy. Um, I don't think necessarily that the article's true. If, they're, if they are restraining Trump, or at least they're trying to, they're doing a bad job. Because Tr President Trump hasn't been acting presidential. <clears throat> He's gotten cozy with dictators. He's created a rift between the U.S. and its allies. Um, he's gotten out of the Paris Climate Accord, the Iranian nuclear deal. He's starting trade wars with trade wars with Canada and China. So, if they are restraining, or if they are at least trying to restrain President Trump, um, they're doing a really bad job. Um, to me, um, they might have given some people relief by publishing this article in the New York Times, but I think that they've made President Trump more paranoid than he already is. Now he's going to look at all his staff, he's going to look at his senior staff, and he's going to try to figure out 
who's been leaking this information to the press. <clears throat> so those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And now for our second star for our second story, we have Alex Jones in the news. So Alex Jones is in the news this past week for two reasons. One, a confrontation with Marco Rubio and him getting banned from Twitter permanently. So let's talk about Marco Rubio. So in between confirmation hearings for the Supreme Court, um, Marco Rubio was doing interviews with the press. And during one of those interviews, um, Alex Jones was attending them. And Alex Jones was asking him questions. And Marco Rubio was saying, I don't know you. I don't know you. And then Alex Jones insulted him, calling him a frat boy. And <clears throat> Marco Rubio was continuing on saying, I don't know you. I don't know you. And then eventually he just left and called Alex Jones a clown. So there was that um, confrontation. And then with the Twitter confrontation, um, he was banned from Twitter after having a confrontation with a CNN reporter. And so Twitter decided to ban Alex Jones permanently, which means he can't get back on Twitter even under a different name. <clears throat> now, I have a question for you, my audience. Do you think Twitter did this um, because it violated their policies or do you think they're cracking under um, public pressure. Just let me know what you think in the comment section below. For our third story, um, speaking of Supreme Court um, confirmation hearings, um, we have Cory Booker in the news. So the senator's in the news because um, he released um, documents on Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Um, he released the documents because he said that People need to know more about how Brett Kavanaugh has ruled on certain issues in the past. Um, Cory Booker doing this <clears throat> has caused people in the Senate to threaten to um, expel him from the Senate. And Cory Booker um, welcomed the challenge. He said, fine, <clears throat> if you want to try to expel me from the Senate, I'll go ahead and make my case on the Senate floor. And he says that <clears throat> I didn't break any Senate laws, um, that the documents I released, um, they were made non-confidential the night before, so I didn't break any rules. <clears throat> Other senators have criticized him for saying that it's a, pl a stunt for the presidency. And Cory Booker has says, no, this is because... The Senate and the public needs to know more about um, how Brett Kavanaugh has ruled in the past before we appoint him to a lifetime position on the Supreme Court. So that's that story. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you agree with Cory Booker? Do you disagree? Let me know your thoughts. <clears throat> For our final story, um, we have Colin Kaepernick in the news. So. This past week, um, Colin Kaepernick was in an advertisement with Nike for the Just Do It campaign and has caused a lot of controversy. <clears throat> because Nike has um, Colin Kaepernick in their advertisements, um, it has caused um, fans of Nike and of the NFL to boycott Nike. You can go to Twitter and you can see people cutting up their socks, burning up their Nike attire. There's even this small um, university um, that has decided to um, close their deal um, with Nike because they've allowed Colin Kaepernick to be the face of their new Just Do It campaign. Um, but it's gotten a lot of, of positive reactions from people. A lot of people are saying that the advertisement's great and that they like it. <clears throat> um, President Trump tweeted about it. Let me read it to you. All right, Donald Trump tweeted, Just like the NFL, whose ratings have gone way down, Nike is getting absolutely killed with anger and boycotts. I wonder if they had any idea that it would be this way. As far as the NFL is concerned, I just find it hard to watch and it and always will until they stand for the flag. 
So that's what President Trump tweeted. <clears throat> now, what do I think? Um, I think that people are, um, they do not like this ad because Colin Kaepernick is in it. And Colin, people think Colin Kaepernick um, is against <clears throat> first responders, military, and the the American life because he kneeled during the national anthem. Um, even though he has said that he's not protesting against any of those things, he's protesting against police brutality, um, against um, black men and black women. <clears throat> but people have taken his kneeling as a protest to the American way of life and to military and to first responders. And they don't like this ad because he's in it. And because Nike has them in their ad, um, to the people who don't like Colin Kaepernick, they're saying that Nike is <clears throat> supporting a movement against America and first responders and military and the American way of life. <clears throat> now, what I now what I think of the ad, um, I think it's a good ad. I don't think it's bad. Um, there's not any message there. I don't think of um, going against America or anything. Mainly, if you just Google the ad, it's just talking about following your dreams, even though. Um, People don't believe in you. People don't think you can. That's really what the ad is saying. Um, <clears throat> but as I said, people don't like the ad because Colin Kaepernick is in the ad. And they don't like Colin Kaepernick because he kneeled during the national anthem. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Have you seen the ad? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Just let me know your thoughts. <clears throat> Now, that's all we have for today. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, go to, the, go, to the, go to the description box and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I'm sorry if I sound hoarse. Uh, uh, I haven't been feeling well lately, but it's getting better. Um, also, if you like this video, please hit the like button and hit subscribe and share this video with all your friends and all of you. Have a great day.